this this is the capability curve of the actual generator in this capability curve you see the different parameters like this is a zero point and where if we go on the y axis these are the positive megawatt 50 100 150 if we go below then minus 50 minus 100 so this this is the negative megawatt and above these are the positive megawatt it means that if we are on the above region then the generator will be provided reactive power to the system but if we this dot is the actually the running point or the uh, running status of the generator actually showing and when we are increasing or decreasing the active power or the reactive power this dot is moving actually so this is showing the present location of the generator it is showing that if we if you read on the y axis the active uh, megawatt is 160.1 megawatt you can see here also and var is 18.1 megawatt so you will go in the positive direction so when we want to supply the var or we want to deliver the var to the system then we uh, run our generator in over excitation mode or when we receive the in other case if we want to receive the um, reactive power from the system for example uh, there are some example that the system is overload with the reactive power for example during the rainy season or in the late night when all the industry load have been switched off and there is a rainy season also and the long transmission line they will act like a capacitor so due to their capacitive impedance of the transmission lines so the reactive load on the system is will be more on the positive side so in that case we have to receive that reactive load so in that case we will run our generator in under excitation mode so the dot will be will come below this zero line in the negative side right but on the negative side we cannot um, receive more megawatt you see here there is, there is a curve is very near but on the positive side the curve is you can take up to here 100 megawatt also sometime and one more thing you can see uh, in the in this capability curve this is the power factor so minimum power factor will be 0.85 ideally it should be 1 mean cos 0 is equal to 1 so the power factor ideal power factor for the generator should be 1 but the minimum power factor allowable minimum power factor is 0.85 but normally i have seen on the Uh, generator we are not running the generator uh, below 0.95 no normally we keep between 0.95 and 1 okay <clears throat> so it was the about some uh, capability curve